I, I, to Lachlan and Leo, um, I don't know if, have you started trying to do this? Impressive, okay. Do you want to bring, have you already brought it in? No. Okay, you want to bring it in now? Or do you want to finish it there and then bring it over? Okay, now, I'll admit this is a difficult data flow diagram, okay? But I'm going to talk you through it. It's not as hard as it sounds. Uh, and most of you, most of the marks I deducted were not because of the difficulty of the data flow diagram. It's because, one, you didn't know what a data flow diagram was, or two, you had like silly, nonsensical things in there, not because it was except exceptionally hard. <laughs> Right, okay, well, here we go, here we go, let's start, here we go. Okay, now, here, you really, you really owe it to yourself to get a piece of paper out and your pen, okay? Even if this diagram's up here, you need to draw it along with me, okay? Now, let's think through, I know this was a while ago that we did this, but what's the general way you go through a data flow diagram? Data flow diagrams tend to have a sequence to them. There tends to be sequence. There tends to be some kind of order. Right? And here, there was a very definite order, right? Packages come in, stuff happens, and then packages go out, right? So think about well, what are the processes, those are the circles, right? What are the processes that happen from start to finish? Now, I identified three main processes, okay? And what you might want to do is, you know, you have a look at my diagram, okay? There's mine. Uh, mine's quite neat. Now, the way I did it was I had a piece of paper on the side and I, th I thought it out first. It's a bit like playing an essay. Right? Because if you start on here first, you'll do it and then you'll go there and then you'll be like, uh oh, I'm meant to have heaps of space down here and I don't, so then it becomes a disaster, right? So think it out first and then put it onto here. So here are my three um, processes, right? And then I, I shape everything around those, right? Number one, what's the very first thing that happens? The package arrives and what's the first process? Think. First process. There's a camera involved. Label scan. Thank you, right. They had these things called smart labels. You didn't need to know what they were. But there was an automatic identification of the package. The, the, the ID, the label, it gets scanned and you, get, you find out its destination. Okay? Now the destination is crucial. The destination is how Worldport knows, okay, where am I going to send this thing? Right? So process number one, and you could have even labeled the processes if you like. said number one, the, the process, sorry, the package gets labeled. Uh, its label gets identified. Now, we'll think about all the data flowing in and out of that, but then think about what's the next thing that happens. What happens after you know, after Worldport knows where it's going, right? Well, all these conveyors and sorters, why? It disappeared. All the conveyors and sorters, they've got to do their thing, right? And this enormous facility have got to put um, planes in, planes out. It's got to get from there to there, from A to B, really. It's just a, it's just a path problem, right? So that direction has to take place. That's the second process, right? Now, after all of that's done, it gets to, well, almost gets to the plane that is going to be, uh, you know, onto its next, next destination, right? So what happens before that? Um, there's this balancing that takes place, right? You remember they weigh it and they're like, okay, is this, uh, is this box, this, this crate, is it the white right rate? Where should we put it in the plane, that kind of thing? So one, two, three. These are the only three processes that happen, okay? So some of you had real problems because you didn't identify these, right? If you're curious as to where the four marks went, maybe you want to jot this down. One mark went to identifying the right processes. One mark, okay? A second mark got to identifying, okay, there's all this data that goes in between. Them. I'm going to tell you what these are in a second, okay? One mark for the data flows, and they are data flows, not object flows. There's no people go walking around in this diagram, okay? Or, or packages, right? This is just about the information. One mark for the processes, one mark for the data flows, one mark for the entities, that's these, um, these rectangles here, right? They're only important entities if they're actually providing data into this system, right? So the manual sorting employees, they do that because they look at the package and they're like, oh, the system couldn't read it, but I can, and then I put it in the right place because I, I know I can read the data. But the people who, you know, say before the package gets onto, into Whirlpool, right? That guy who puts it on a conveyor, he's not providing data in, right? He's just moving stuff, okay? So um, you only think about these guys if they're actually providing data in. And then the last mark was for the databases. Now, um, these guys are going to have trouble because it's hard to make a database, but you guys know it's an open rectangle, right? Have you guys? Yeah, you, you've done them as trapeziums, right? Yep. So 
Um, you've got one, two, three. Is that that's yeah? That's that's the number of databases I could think of. Okay. Now some of you elected to just have one big gigantic database in the middle. You're like the database or that database. You know. Um, that can be okay, but it tended more often than not to make your di diagram a disaster. Okay. If you break it apart, which does make sense to break it apart this way, um, then your data flows are all heading to the right spaces and they're more specific. So what were the actual data flows? I think up here I had the zip code go into the manual sorting employees, right? Uh, or the package ID and its destination coming to this process, okay? Uh, the consignment database, it knows more about the package than the package itself knows about itself. Right? So there's more data coming in there so it can recognize, yes, we know what this package is, we recognize it, and we know where it's going to go, so on, okay? Um, what's this sending? This is sending a path, right? After you know where it's meant to go, you've got to tell it, well, okay, which conveyors and which sorters is it going to have to go through? So it sends that data to this process, right? Uh, now, this here, this directing all of the packages, that kind of thing, uh, is constantly keeping track of where the package is. Right? It needs to do that because otherwise, suppose there's some problem, world port breaks down or something like that, or there's one package that needs to be identified and like, oh, where is it? I've got to fix it up, something like that. It needs to be redirected. Well, how do you know where to go as an employee to fix it? So that's why there's a position tracking database it's constantly keeping track of all of the packages and where they are at any given time. Okay? Um, you could have included, I think, did I have the customer? Yeah, I've got the customer somewhere around here. It's a bit hard for these guys to fit all in. Yeah, there's not enough space. So the customer, if you've ever ordered something from online uh, and you've had it sent to you, right, you can check where it's up to, right? You can say, oh yeah, it's here or it's there or what's the progress, right? So the customer uh, as an optional entity here is getting data in and out of the item position tracking database. Okay, I think that's generally the idea. Um, if you had this, I mean the, the data flows are meant to be labeled, but if you had that, um, that was three marks and then the one mark was for labeling the data flows, okay? Any questions on that? So again, the key really was, once you get the processes, ooh, pretty, that's good. Small, but good, thanks guys. Um, once you get these processes, the rest kind of falls into place. Because you think, well, what's gonna happen? Where am I gonna get the data from? It's gotta be from this guy, and this guy, and so on, okay? All right, so let's move on. Um, 